Hello friends, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365 and today I'm going to review the Best Buy exclusive 4K Steelbook of Ralph Breaks the Internet. If you're new to the channel, please hit that like button, subscribe, hit the bell notification for me, I put out videos daily. You can also find me over Twitter and Instagram at MovieGuy365. Ralph Breaks the Internet, the Best Buy exclusive Steelbook in 4K. Uh, front cover there, there's the back. I have to admit, uh, as far as the steelbook goes, I, I'm not loving it, honestly. It's not a good looking design for me. I think it's actually kind of lazy. Uh, it's, just very, it's very simple, not, you know, it doesn't look like a lot of thought was put into it, as opposed to like, you know, the, the release the same day, The Little Mermaid with artwork by Paige O'Hara, I thought it was a beautiful looking steelbook. This is just kind of, eh. Uh, Initially, I wasn't considering on buying it. Actually, I, I just wanted it to match the, the Wreck-It Ralph steelbook I have that was released earlier or later uh, last year. Uh, so just, you know, steelbook to steelbook kind of thing. Uh, I think in this case, you're probably, you know, if you get your hands on the standard 4K cover, you're probably better off. It's actually a better looking cover, honestly. Uh, I may even pick one up myself just, just to have it. But yeah, uh, Steelbook in this case, not not loving it, but, you know, just to match the previous one. Okay, we got it. Uh, all right, so, you know, I'm not going to inherit, you know, just review the movie itself. Uh, if you want to, uh, my thoughts on the movie, I'll go ahead and put a link in, you know, at the end of the video. Uh, you know, just, just to give you quick, overall, I feel it was a, a little bit of a step down uh, as compared to rec the original Record Ralph. I don't know if it's because I have like such a sentimentality for Wreck-It Ralph. You know, there's a lot of things that were going on in my life at that time and that, that movie just clicked for me. But yeah, this one, I, I, I feel it's a little bit dated. Uh, it, it's gonna date itself very quickly. And But there are, there are a lot of, you know, things to like about it if you're, you know, a fan. I obviously liked it enough to pick it up. Obviously, you know, that kind of thing. But so how does it look? Um, I'm very happy to say the HDR is Borderline breathtaking in this movie. It really looks good. There's a lot going on. There's a lot to see. So, you know, especially when you get in, you know, in the original film, of course, you had a whole, the whole thing, you know, like, oh, what arcade character is going to show up, you know, pick those out. This, take that in, you know, multiply that by almost 100 because you're going into the internet and it's represented as kind of like a futuristic type city. And I really enjoyed the aesthetic of how it looked. But there's so much to see, like, and you know, I'm still picking stuff out, even a couple times after I've seen the movie initially. Um, but the HDR just makes this city just, you know, burst to life. Anything, you know, to feast your eyes on everything from like, you know, the little Google representation to things like one of the characters. Yes, her. And this is something I didn't notice in the uh, theatrical uh, when I went to see it in the theater, like her coat. Just like kind of when she gets, you know, um, you know, inspired, just, you know, flourishes to life. And there's such fine detail and it looks, the HDR just makes it pop. It's just there that I didn't even see in the theater. Just goes to show you the quality of the screen I was probably watching it on. But it, it looks beautiful. Like there's so much going on. I noticed, you know, maybe this was uh, on purpose, that kind of thing. But when... Uh, you know, slight spoiler, but when Ralph goes into the dark web, the the picture noticeably gets, you know, grungier, darker, uh, softer. Uh, I don't know if that was intentional or, you know, just kind of like an over uh, oversight from, you know, the, the filmmakers. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm going to believe probably the former on that one. Uh, I feel overall it looks very, very beautiful. There's a lot of different landscapes also within the uh, internet that, you know, the characters visit, you know, like Slaughter Race is kind of a dark, gloomy, post-apocalyptic, but there's still like a fine amount of detail and a lot of HDR, you know, representation in there. It looks, it looks actually very, very good. You know, things that are, you know, when the, they visit the Oh My Disney area, that's one of those things you just got to like find stuff, you know, like Easter eggs and that kind of thing. But there's a lot of attention to detail there. And I'll, I'll go back to that scene in a few minutes when I talk about the audio. But yeah, it's a beautiful looking picture. I think one of the better looking Disney, uh, as far as like a Disney animated look, it looks spectacular. When you go to something like what Pixar does over in The Incredibles 2, that has a more filmic uh, style and look to it. 
but it still looks great as an animated film. But these two are definitely night and day comparison. I would say Wreck-It Ralph is definitely more of an animator's palette kind of a film, where, you know, like, as I said, Incredibles 2 is more like a film. Uh, it looks great. It really does. I uh, I could really go on all day on how beautiful the picture looks. Uh, Audio-wise, yeah, we have a very good uh, Dolby Atmos. It sounds incredible. You know, in years, or I'm sorry, in recent, you know, uh, maybe in the last year or two, Disney's been kind of hit or miss on how their Atmos tracks have been mixed. Uh, a lot of them have been, you know, a little bit on the lower side, less oomph. This sounds good. Uh, I think inherently the movie itself doesn't lend itself to a lot of immersion. Uh, you know, it's there, but it's, you know, I feel it's just kind of like, it, it isn't prevalent. It's something you're just going to have to, you know, pick out on your own. It depends on your listening style or how you listen. But it, it sounds fine. It actually does. There's a lot of uh, instances where LFE comes to life and, you know, it gives you that little bit of oomph. But it does sound very, very good to me. It, it, there's no problems there. I thought it was very good. Uh, so overall, yeah, Ralph uh, Ralph breaks the internet. As I keep wanting to say, Ralph wrecks the internet. But <laughs> it's it's a very, very good 4K release. I In this case, I would go with the standard. Skip the steelbook. You're really not missing much. Um, but yeah, leave in the comments below. What did you think of Ralph breaks the internet? Uh, let me know. And then in the meantime, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell notification for me. Every day I put out videos, so until next time, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365. I will see you at the movies.